Hello guys, welcome to a new day. Um, we're about to bring Landon to school. Um, Daddy is still away. Um, we're actually gonna go to my mom's house um, because we are going to be making poetry sweet bread today with her um, while Landon's at school. It takes a couple hours, so I don't know how long I'll be there today. Um, I did my makeup, I did like a little Instagram like speed through thing. Um, but I'm wearing my set that I got from the thrift store. Super cute. I love it. Um, but yeah, we're going to drop Lynn off at school, head to my mom's house. I am so sore from my workout that I did yesterday. Like, kind of proud of myself for, like, how sore I feel. I definitely worked out good. So, I'm not going to the gym today because I am, um, going to be at my mom's pretty much all day for this sweet bread. Um, and I also worked out three days in a row. I will, I will work out tomorrow. And I got a new truck yesterday from Ava, of course. Um, but yeah, I am going to work out tomorrow, so I'm not gonna work out today. Um, I'm gonna give myself a break. And yeah, we're gonna go to school. So I will catch you guys at my mom's house. So we're at my mom's, and we're gonna make some sweet bread. So this is from the cookbook. What is this? Maria Lawton, Azorian Cooking. Favorite cookbook. I. I've made multiple recipes, but her super recipe in here is one of my faves. Um, I'll leave the recipe down below for you guys, um, or I'll leave like the ingredients down below so you can kind of see just, like, what I'm doing. But basically, just the yeast. There's three, um, a fourth ounce packet of dry ice yeast, four tablespoons of flour, one cup of warm milk. Mix that up. Set it to the side, and then for the dough, there's five pounds of all-purpose flour, three fourths a tablespoon of salt, four sticks of room temperature butter, four cups of whole milk, twelve large eggs at room temp, five heaping cups of sugar, and then the egg wash at the end is just one egg. Um, so I'm just gonna mix everything up, let it rise for two to four, or up to four hours, and then put them in the like contain like the little like pans and they rise again for another two to four hours and then you cook them for like 45 minutes yeah 45 to 60 minutes and they're delicious so let's get making that and again i will leave this book down below but i'll also leave the ingredients down below too so you guys can have it on hand and you guys can just sit back and watch i'm gonna make the what's it called the yeast and that yeah let's put them
dough to rise again um, for the second or the first time sorry so it's still we actually have it kind of near the fireplace to keep it nice and warm and we have like blankets over it um, Asher's eating some lunch right now so we're just sitting here um, waiting for it to rise it's almost one o'clock it's like 12 45 yeah. I have to pick up Landon in an hour do I help yeah do I need to help you yeah okay uh, I have to pick up Landon in like an hour um, from school and then I'm probably gonna go home for like a little bit I don't know yet um, because my dogs are at home and I'm probably gonna be here a little bit longer because of the sweet bed um, when I got here this morning my mom was on the phone and cleaning her stove because I guess it was like up in smokes so um, when I stepped out like made french fries and oil got everywhere so she was cleaning that so it took me a little bit to actually start making everything um, and I ended up making it all by myself, like the sweet bread, and then she just helped me knead it because I have a boo-boo, so I could not knead the dough. Um, so she did that for me. But yeah, so we're gonna wait a little bit longer, just trying to get through things. I'm gonna put this one down for a nap soon. Probably make myself another cup of coffee because I'm like tired. And that's it. <laughs> Baby. Baby. You're my baby. No. Are you my baby? No. You my baby? I'm your baby? No. You're my baby. <laughs> <laughs> you want more? Yeah. Wait, 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 let me see. Oh, careful. I always get so nervous when they eat at my mom's house because she has like cloth and like nice stuff. That's why I do not have cloth chairs because my kids don't like them. That's why we have like those like cheaper plastic chairs right now. Eventually I would love like cloth chairs, but not here. Not yet. Here, one more. We're being so healthy. We're having mac and cheese for lunch today and oranges. I actually just told my mom, I kind of want to like clean up our diet a little bit and like get rid of everything toxic and like not great for us and like start fresh but I think like I have to like slowly cut things out like I can't just like cold turkey it but I like definitely feel like I need to like cut dairy from my kids diets because especially Landon I feel like his eczema flare-ups it could be like a dairy thing but I don't know I mean I kind of want to do an allergy test with him but we'll see we'll see bread is in the containers. I only have four of these, so we have two loaves and then three individuals. <sighs> Lots of masa. So pretty. Now to rise. Go to sleep.
Made. Trying the first okay. one. This one's kind of run down. I think because it's still hot, but it just got mm -hmm. out of the oven. It, yeah, the must is still good. No, it's cooked. It's just because it's so hot. Oh my god! <sighs> it's good. It's just like I said, it's I think it's because it's hot. It's still kind of doughy. One, two, three, go! It is good though. It's perfect. It's fresh out of the oven. So I'm home now. I brought home. Hey, oh, excuse me. So I brought home two low or two, uh, two, and then I brought a loaf, a little loaf, so I can eat with my kids for the next couple days. And then I'm gonna freeze one once they cool um, for me in camp. They look gorgeous. They smell really good, they taste really good. Um, we're going to eat some dinner, get ready for bed, and kind of just like relax for the night. Bye.